Good morning, guys. How are you doing on this beautiful Monday morning? I'm just sitting here waiting for Sean to uh, join me on this glorious morning. And there he is. What's up? How's it going? It's going on my second cup of coffee. All right. Well, it's going to be one of those days, right? Hey, I've been searching for the truckie. Yeah? You remember now where the truckie is? I do. Where is it? Oh, you don't know? Mm -mm. It's in my car where you left it. Exactly. Exactly. I opened up going like TQ. You know where the truckies are. I can't find them. No, babe, I don't know where they are. I know where they are. Uh, go get them and let's go. We can get some goo gone. It don't need Get the rest it. of that off. It just needs a bath. That's satisfying. As you see, Sean has the grabbers and a bucket. He is just gonna go real quick with the mower, drive around, grab all the trash. It saves, I don't know that it saves more time, but it does help out we, while we're mowing, mid mowing. We don't have to keep stopping, getting off, and uh, you know, doing what we have to do. But with the grabbers and the bucket, it just makes it a lot easier as well. Highly recommend having that. So some of you might be wondering, why do we do a perimeter pass? Simply, it gets everything so that whenever I go to trim now, or TQ goes to trim, we know exactly what the mower can't get. So like right there where she's gonna be going, where that little break area is, there's a sharp turn, okay? Well, she can't get into that corner, if you know what I'm saying. So there's about a foot there into that corner I gotta be able to trim. Say you come along and you just trim out real fast, go on around, and then she mows, there's gonna be a little piece in there possibly that we wouldn't be able to get to. side stripe uh, as you've seen Sean trimmed it up he actually went ahead and headed over there all right TQ's done with that side I don't have a clue where she's at 
I shot a little shot right here showing you guys that piece and then I went ahead and did the rest of the trimming it's been about an hour later I thought this would have all been done when I got out here I literally told TQ to mow it she's got the trash bucket too and this thing's covered in trash on this side it's all good though went all the way down the whole edge of the road all the way out back of the building all the way up the fence line ditches everything all this stuff this thing is growing insane right now anyways this is what i was pointing out in yesterday's video in the garage about wanting to get here see all the cars all the way down through there the trucks aren't bad but the cars we don't even go up under because you can't do them without getting some kind of damage so now when they pull out at the end of the day it's going to look really nice but there's going to be you know 10 inches of growth foot of foot of growth you know whatever you want to say that is i know everybody always gets upset when i say how high something is however much that is you're taking off but anyways yeah you can go a lot faster that takes an extra probably five to ten minutes to go underneath of all those down through there so i guess i'm gonna get mowing i'm assuming tq's on the back corner of this property there's kind of like a new area oh hold on okay i'm gonna put it up here real quick remember last week the customer that told me i was fired get there or don't come whatever they messaged said hey go ahead and put me back on your route no bueno i'm not even responding just yet but i'm going to respond here in a little bit because i'm professional but i'm gonna i'm gonna let it soak for just a little bit and then i'm gonna message him back and say hey sorry but you're no longer our customer find somebody else like you told me last week in the weeds.
he does such a nice, efficient job. Good Some job. Days you're just that good. <laughs> good job. Good job, guys. All right, guys. So we were pulling out the leave, and I noticed, uh, yeah, I missed the spot blowing off here. So DQ's going to grab it. So I'll cut this real quick, but I wanted to see what TQ thought of the uh, old Ballard blades. I thought they were pretty good. Sorry, babe. That's all right. Hey, real quick before we pull out, what do you think of the uh, Ballard gold blades? Well, I'd say they worked out pretty decent um, for the fact that we didn't, we weren't able to come here last week to mow because of all the lovely weather. Right. It was and tall too. It was tall, and to cut through all those, it, it was it was really nice. Yeah, I thought they did pretty decent. Let me look here so I can get us out of here safely. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of a high lift uh, mulching blade in the spring, but for the cut quality that they did with the amount of grass that was on there, I thought they did pretty darn good. Yeah. So definitely worth uh, giving a try. We're very blessed. Very blessed. Just want to let you guys know it can be done. Start off with a Bowlands push mower, doing $30 cuts, and just bought things as I needed them. And then obviously now with the social media, we do get mowers sent to us, so that helps out a ton. But even before that, you know, we were buying our stuff. And yeah, just uh, wanted to share with you it can be done with a lot of hard work and, you know, being smart. Good job, TQ. I was kind of get to you. Let's see if you're as good as me today. Go ahead. Got stretch? I need to separate from sunblock though, so. Okay, okay. Dang it. Mm. So it's close. Slipped, slipped out of my hand. So close. I'll, I'll give you one more chance. One more? One more. Oh, that hit me. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> okay. Hey, I did want to point this out though. So this is the new one. See how this is silver? It's like brass or something. Different color. That one's the same. I'm going to have to phone a friend at Toro and see what's up with that, huh? What's up with that? Just throwing little things off. Like, I like everything the same. how wet that was going to be there. Ugh. See it? It's wet here, guys. It is wet, wet. What? Oh, 
Oh, you gonna mow this? You mowing this? No, you ain't. I am. <laughs> I saw her set her camera shot up for this long pass. Not clean anymore. You can help it out a little bit by getting it while it's still wet. It's got something big in it. Whew. I ain't opening it up stuff. That does not count. Fancy meeting you here. Sorry, I was listening to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle? Welcome to the jungle, baby. I said fancy meeting you here again. Right. Real quick, I just thought of this as I was putting the mower up. So you guys asked me, you know, how do we always land commercial properties, how to get commercial properties, and simply always tell you guys, hey, just go in, offer them a free estimate, you know, fall time, August, September, October. But this commercial property, we actually got a call from the gentleman years ago, and he said, will you guys trim my property when you're done mowing? I said, I'll come take a look at it. We came out here, there's a lot of fence, a lot of trimming. Long story short, we mowed it, trimmed it like we always do, you know, in our business, how we run Spencer Lawn Care, trimming's just part of it, you know, it's, you trim. So it kind of shocked me when he told me that the company they had before him would never trim. So they hired us on the spot. We did it the first time and they were like, you're good to go. If you can do it like this every single time, you'll be here a long time. So that's what we did. And yeah, I think we're in what, year three now here? Yeah, year three. So just little things like that, guys. Trimming, cleaning off stuff, mowing what you should, doing the job you're hired to do can land you a commercial property, let alone keep you that commercial property long term. So. Let's move on. So to follow up real quick, if you missed the screenshot, the customer that fired us last week messaged this morning, told us to come back and start mowing it. Simply, I waited a little bit. I didn't stop what I was doing last week. I wasted about an hour, hour and a half with this customer and uh, just for nothing. I mean, total disrespect. Looking back on the messages, they were a lot more disrespectful than what I initially uh you know took them as you know reading them tq reading them and i'm like man like dude is kind of acting like just a jerk but anyways message this morning told us this go ahead and mow he couldn't find anybody well 
I waited about an hour, finished doing our job, and then I messaged him back and I said, hey, we actually moved a commercial that was on, you know, another day. They've been wanting to get moved to the beginning of the week, so it worked out really well for us. We moved them Monday. We've already talked to this customer, told them we're moving them till Monday, and they were ecstatic. So now I'm not going to mess that customer up by putting you back into their spot, if you know what I'm saying. So, hey, bud, sorry to tell you, we moved another customer into your spot. You are no longer our customer. Have fun. Find somebody else. I'm, you know, if I'm coming off as a little bit of a jerk with that, it's okay. After wasting my time last week because, you know, he wanted his lawn mowed right now and couldn't wait, even though we tried to bend over backwards to help this customer out, moving around a couple days, offered to do it Saturday, told me he'd be back on his Monday route or he could wait till next Monday. Long story short, we went above and beyond to try to work with this customer. And at the end of the day, it wasn't good enough. He told us that we weren't working for him anymore. He was going to get somebody new. Fast forward a few more days funny how days just go really fast like that was friday saturday sunday monday it was like a blink of an eye now we're at monday he could have had us mowing his property or not and uh yeah it is what it is at this point let's get back into the video i just wanted to share that with you so we did mow this one last week <laughs> look at the growth on this thing my goodness all right guys so we're going to get this one knocked out. TQ is going to get started. I'm sure it's going to need a double cut. All right, I'll bring it back, show you a finished at the end. Real quick, friendly reminder, you can also follow us on our Instagram page, Spencer Lawn Care. A TikTok page, Spencer Lawn Care LLC. And also, we have a Facebook page, Spencer Lawn Care. Hope to see you over there. A lot of short stuff like this, real stuff, hyperlap stuff, oddly satisfying stuff, just a, a different format. But hey, not everybody's on YouTube or has a, uh, a profile on YouTube. So come follow us over there. We'd love to see you. All right. Went ahead and got it all trimmed out. You can finishing this part over here. This thing is nasty. Oh. I think she double cut it. Hey. Sorry I had to drop somebody or sorry I had to move the trailer. <laughs> somebody had to get out. Yeah, What's up, I dude? Hi. Getting out of school early, huh? I got this appointment. Uh-huh. Anything get out of your last class, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How was uh, school? Great. Wanna say hi to everybody? Hi. I don't think I'm actually supposed to exit this way, am I? Yeah, you, you can. can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just uh, there's different procedures during the end of day, so. Okay, okay. Figuring it out. Everything's yeah. changed around here. It has. A lot of procedures changed. So I know some of you ask, get an enclosed trailer or say get an enclosed trailer. You know, you won't have to unload at the end of the day. I would still, I would still unload at the end of the day. Uh, simply, whether it's on an enclosed or open trailer, thieves are out there. And trust me, a lot of us, and I thought at one time as well that, hey, being hooked up to your truck, that's going to save you. Needless to say... Uh, if you haven't seen that video, there's an old video, you can probably look back, I don't remember, but I think it was like something like they tried to get my trailer or something like that. Literally in my own driveway here, and we live in the country, pretty good area. Uh, they busted through the transfer case on it, tried to put the truck into neutral, disconnected the trailer. And uh, yeah, if I didn't have something going on with security, I'm not going to state what that was, 
uh, they would have got my whole entire trailer set up and been gone down the road. You thought at first I was the one who unhooked it or the kids or something. Long story short, they couldn't get ours, but they actually went about two and a half miles down the road. Another landscaper went in and took his off the back of his truck, a little bit smaller of a setup, and uh, took it on down the road and he never seen it again. It's unfortunate. So whether it's enclosed or open, guys, protect your stuff at all times. Uh, we like to unload at the end of the day just so it's unloaded and, you know, it's out of the weather, right. this, that. Keep stuff good as long as possible. But, uh, yeah, another day, uh, a little bit shorter of a day, 2 o'clock today. Typically, we're going to about 3 to 4 uh, when the weather allows us. <laughs> but, hey, good weather today. Absolutely. Uh, it was actually supposed to rain this morning, and it held off. We were able to get stuff done, just a little bit of mist. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, keep mowing. Keep growing. Keep making money, boys. Talk to you later. TQ out. I don't know if I said why we stopped early. Sean boy, he's got the... Yeah, well, you already saw that. Yeah, he's point. got an eye doctor's appointment. Yep. So, see you Peace. guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>